Well, Madison homeowners and others in Dane County will pay more in their property taxes. That's the result of two budgets now in the books. News 3's Mark Lovacott looks at what's at stake. There were cuts, there were, there were efficiencies, there were new initiatives. The applause and handshakes helped to mask how difficult the county budget was to complete. It's the first for County Executive Joe Parisi, who says the balancing act was no easy task. I really do think this was the toughest budget ever. Um, coming into this budget, looking at what, what the state and what the governor did to us with, with the millions of dollars in revenue they took away from us. About half of the $476 million county budget goes to human services. Some services see cuts, but overall human services gets a $4.4 million increase. The budget also includes a plan to revamp the criminal justice system, saving money by closing the Huber Center next year and finding alternatives for those who commit more minor crimes. Overall, taxes will go up. As the county completes its budget process... We had two very controversial items coming back from previous years. The city of Madison completes its budget as well. It includes more funding for overture and a study of Madison arts facilities. There are cuts in some services, like snow plowing, for example. The mayor says the city is 200 grand short from being, quote, okay this winter season. Taxes are also going up. It's going to be tough for some families. It's going to be tough for families who are public employees who are looking at seven, eight, nine percent real cuts in their income. Mayor Soglin says he plans to sign the city budget sometime tomorrow.